What's going on, gamers? It's Dream Killers representing Mad Mastermind. Hope everybody is doing well today. We're on the road to the top 10 in this game using the Dallas Cowboys going up against the Baltimore Ravens. And we are using the Blueprint Defense. Link down in the description if you like what you see. Haters come screaming this game. We are running the West Coast Offense ebook coming sometime 2016. Just kidding on that. However, uh, it has been a while since we ran a road to the top 10 game. I'm somewhere in the 20s right now, hoping to jump into the top 10 here, you know, somewhat soon. We're going to try to mix it up. I'm, you know, my ultimate plan is to do the two videos a day. One's definitely going to be, you know, most likely road to the top 10. We'll mix that up with the random teams. And then as soon as we jump into Mutt, I'm going to jump back on the two video a day scenario or grind. As soon as I'm done and published it with the ebook and everything like that, got a couple other things to do for the website. And then as soon as we're done, we'll be back to the two videos a day. L leave me a, a comment down in the comment section if you guys would like to see two videos a day and then how you would preferably like to see them. I know some guys don't care about seeing Mutt. I figure that, you know, that'll just open my horizons, you know, getting in more with the game. Uh, but then let me know if you guys like the the random teams. I know you guys like seeing the, mo the most competitive games possible. Uh, I feel like, you know, using Dallas in the road to the top ten is going to be my best bet to get the dubs there. In the random teams, you go, I would think, I'm playing under another account, however, we're on the top 800 in there. I know that's obviously not the, uh, the most elite players. However, I feel like slowly but surely we'll get there with it. Uh, let me know which ones you guys have seen as more entertaining or whatnot. I think, you know, I would say, you know, just give me the most competitive games possible, which I think are going to be these. This opponent had a pretty decent scheme, was running a custom. But uh, definitely had a good little scheme put together. He was pretty patient here. You could see these Hail Mary passes, man. And that's all bad on my part. There's no reason if you see a Hail Mary formation that you shouldn't be like in a two-man or a quarter three deep scenario. I don't think I've ever gotten beat if I had that going. Minus him just like face catching me with Megatron or something like that. Fortunately for us, Dez was wide open on the post route. We take the knee right before halftime, able to kick the field goal because we do get the ball coming out after half. But that was would have been devastating to give up those last second points there, uh, because you know at this point that was almost a yick right there. It actually should have been. I thought Whitten was going to be doing a down and out, but he wasn't. This guy was running a lot of cover two, cover two sink. So I was trying to leave that seam pass there for the uh, bigger, bigger down scenarios, and we were able to uh, pull through with that. This is more of a full scheme here. Offense was running pretty well here. I wasn't hitting the holes as well as I would have liked, but I was mixing it up. So maybe you guys will enjoy that. It's just not a all spread game. Was definitely mixing in some other stuff. Again, though, leave constructive criticism, whatever you guys want, down in the comment section. As always, as far as you know, what, what you guys see is mo uh, the most competitive or the most entertaining, the ones that you guys wouldn't mind tuning in for. I know a lot of you guys hate seeing the Cowboys, um, but hopefully you can get over that and just enjoy the game for what it is, which should be a competitive game. And you know, this is some of the most elite competition. This guy, I think, was somewhere in the top hundred. This game was played a couple days ago, but. You know, he was definitely a decent opponent. Our defense was just locking up. You can see 24-14, four minutes to go left in the fourth. We're having to make something happen here. My phone's freaking ringing. Uh, we got to shut that off real quick. I'm sorry about that. Now he tries jumping. Um, this is pre-face catch defense. So we're still working on that, man. Ghost and I have been labbing it pretty hard. I definitely owe it to him to get a hold of him a little bit later on. We don't have much going on to, uh, to continue to work on that. He said he's been running what we've been doing in games and has been having some success, so I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't had the opportunity to play quite as much, man, but that's definitely the plan here in the near future. Uh, you can see three minutes left to go. He is able to dot me up for the touchdown. So he's got to play defense. we got to play offense pretty much for the game at this point. He does have all his timeouts. I have mine as well just in case. You can see that's another one where I just didn't hit the hole where I would have had a big play. So he stops me there. Fourth down, we go back to our bread and butter here versus cover two, which has been the seam pass. He tried... Excuse me, user control and the safety went towards Dez, so we took Witten, and it's all lovely right there. So the game's pretty much locked up, but we're going to throw the comeback on him one time. Dez is going to throw up the X. We player lock like an animal. Good thing the heaters were looking strong. And then second and 18, he throws it up, forces it off his back foot. Lee's there for the interception. He quits out. I'm Dream Killers. I represent, <laughs> excuse me, Mad Mastermind. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Dream Killers 843. And we'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Definitely next week, I would think, for the two a days again. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for the support.